Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share an outfit of the day with you guys. I wore this to a baby shower for one of my best friends in the whole wide world, also my next door neighbor, who is having her first baby in September and I'm super excited. It's a little boy, so John Abel's really excited that he's gonna have a little boy next door to play with um, because he's literally like the only boy well, he's got he's got three boy cousins, like immediate cousins, um, but on my side of the family, there's no boys. And then for there to be one next door, he's just really excited. We're we're super excited. Um, but anyway, let me show you guys what I have on. Um, we were running errands, breakfast, doing a bunch of things, so I was a little hesitant to wear white jeans. But when I got there, everybody had on white jeans and like wedges or um, just a blouse and like white jeans. So. I wasn't out of place at all. I felt a little underdressed until I got there and then I was like, ah, I'm okay. So, and Eva went with me and she looked absolutely adorable. She literally had on a pair of Kinder Scott earrings that were dangly and a necklace and like a headpiece and a dress and she dressed herself and she looked adorable. Um, but she didn't want to come out and do it at the end of the day, which is crazy. So here's that annoying shirt, but I love it. Um, yeah, it's an annoying shirt that I love. So <laughs> let me stand back there really quickly. And then I did wear my Christian Louboutin um, Rolando pumps, which I just like because they're new. I think they look pretty. Um, and then my Louboutin handbag, um, which I've been getting a lot of use out of this summer. It's just brown, and then the red pop of color just looks pretty. And it's so easy because I can do the crossbody or I can do the handle thing, and it's, yeah, quick. And it fits everything that I need, things that I don't need also. So, yeah. There's that, um, there it is up close. Just a cute little mini bag. And here is the blouse from H&M, which I purchased at the beginning of the summer. I think I did an outfit of the day, pretty much the same colors on, um, a pair of white shorts instead of white jeans, but these are beautiful nonetheless, so I, I really like them. Um, so there's that, let's see. I do kind of pull this down every time I get up just to make sure that it's in the right spot and not uh, popping up because it does this. It does that a lot, which is not a bad look either. It's cute. Um, but then it starts to show, like it'll go up, it starts to show my belly off a little bit and I do get a little kind of annoying. Um, what I did for the shower is I wore some eyelash glue up here. I just put a strip of eyelash glue and let it kind of dry and then I stuck this to it so that the straps would stay up and it worked. It looked really, really cute too. Um, but I did still kind of adjust every time I stand up just to make sure that it was okay. Oh no, Harper, you're killing my lipstick. Okay, so here are the pumps and then my jeans. I cut the hem off myself because I got really annoyed. They were literally five inches longer than what they needed to be. Um, so I just took a pair of scissors to them and I like the unfinished edge even if you're going to dress it up a little bit. I think it looks nice. I don't think, no, no fingers. I don't think it looks bad. So there's that. These jeans, they are um, seven for all mankind jeans. They're really, really nice. They kind of hold you in. They've got a lot of stretch to them. Here's the Rolandos, just real basic nude pumps that work well for different occasions. Um, and then on my face, I have on the Pro, the Lorac Pro, Lorac Pro Travel one. It's like six shadows, no, eight shadows. There's four on top, four on bottom. And I wear all four on the top together just to contour. Um, on my cheeks, I have on Well Dressed, Max Well Dressed Blush. On my lips, I have Yves Saint Laurent's Lip Stain in number 17. I don't even know if they make these anymore. These were my favorite for a very long time. It just very liquidy, but they go on your lips and just stain it. It literally stays there the entire day. It doesn't come off at all. My Kendra Scott earrings, um, the star ones, I like these a lot. My only problem with them is the backs. These bend, so if you're putting them in your ears and then you put this on, it bends all kinds of weird ways, and you have to pull them off and straighten them. So it's a little odd. I'm a little leery with the new collection um, for some of the earrings because they're kind of made this way with the Instead of the dangly, like the hook, they're made with the straight post. Um, just because I have to play with these so much to get them to stay straight. They're always going crooked. 
Um, but that might not be the case with the new collection. They may have corrected that. I feel like that was just kind of an oversight with this collection. Um, but other than that, I mean, they look great on. It's just something you have to do when you take them on or off is play with them to get them to be straight the post anyway. Um, once they're on, they look great. So that's it. This bracelet, which I purchased at Dillard's a couple years ago, I got it on major sale. It was like 100 bucks. I got it for 20 um, but that's that. Sometimes they have those like flash sales where you just don't know until you're there and then it's like, oh wow, that's like literally 10 bucks. Let's get that. Um, so yeah, hope you guys are having a wonderful week and thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.